Welcome to the Skywalker Trampolines Assembly video for the SWTC 1711 series. This video will cover all assembly for the 17 by 15 foot ovals regardless of color. Before assembling your trampoline, please do a complete inventory of both boxes. You should have received box 1 of 2 and box 2 of 2. Please use the parts list in your manual to assist you in your inventory. Please locate key number 1 with T-joint and key number 1 with T-socket. Please note, the T-sockets and T-joints may not be attached and you will have to attach during assembly. To locate your top tubes, there will be a sticker located on each tube. Attach key number 1 with T-socket to key number 1 with T-joint. T-sockets will have an extra welded tube on the outside and the T-joints will not. Make sure the T-socket is in the middle and the T-joint is on the left. Repeat this step one more time. Attach key number 2 with T-socket with key number 2 T-joint. Make sure the T-socket is in the middle and the T-joint is on the left. Repeat this step one more time. Now attach a key number 1 with T-socket to a key number 2 with T-joint. Make sure the T-socket is in the middle and the key number 2 with T-joint is on the left. Repeat this step one more time. You will now locate two J legs and one middle leg brace. Please note the middle leg brace will be short with tapered ends. Insert the ends of the middle leg brace into the curved portions of the J leg extensions. Secure the middle leg brace to the leg extensions with the self tapping screws provided. Be sure to not over tighten the screws. The peak of the middle leg brace will face the top tubes once it has been completed. Repeat this step five more times. Now insert each completed leg assembly into the T socket and T joints of each top tube set. Once all the legs are attached, locate top tube set with two key number ones and the top tube set with key number one and key number two. Insert the top tube from the key number one and one into the T-joint from set key number one and two. Attach all remaining top tube sets to form the pattern key number one, 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 key number two, 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 key number one, 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 and key number two, two, two ensuring that the T-sockets and T-joints are alternating. Now your frame will be completely assembled and freestanding. Now locate your jumping mat with attached enclosure. If your enclosure net is not pre-attached to the jumping mat, please refer to your manual. Lay the jumping mat inside the frame with the warning labels and the enclosure net on top. We found it useful to position your springs around the trampoline frame for easier assembly later on. Locate the section of three key number twos. Arrange the jumping mat so the enclosure door is positioned over the fifth spring hole to the right of the T-joint of the middle key number two. Attach your first spring here. Hook one end of the spring into the V-ring. Use the spring puller to pull the first spring until it reaches the frame. Push the end of the first spring into the hole in the frame. Unhook the spring puller. After attaching the first spring by the enclosure door, Count 24 spring holes and 24 B-rings in a circular direction and insert second spring. Repeat this step two more times to insert the third and fourth springs. You should now have four evenly spaced springs. From the first spring next to the enclosure net door, count 12 spring holes and 12 V-rings in a circular direction and insert another spring. Count another 24 spring holes and 24 V-rings in a circular direction and insert another spring. Repeat the 24 count two more times to insert the 7th and 8th spring. You will now have 8 evenly spaced springs attached to the bed and to the trampoline frame. Attach the remaining springs evenly throughout the frame. We found it easiest to attach a spring to the right of an existing spring. 
Continue to go around the frame attaching springs in this manner until all of the springs are attached. You will now attach the spring pad to the frame of the trampoline. Lay the spring pad on the frame with the logos on both sides of the enclosure net door. Assure the slits are directly above the sockets. Now attach the spring pad to the frame using the straps and sleeves on the underneath side of the spring pad. For more information regarding the assembly of the spring pad to the frame, please refer to your owner's manual. After you have assembled the spring pad to the frame, the trampoline portion is now completely assembled. We will now assemble the enclosure frame to the trampoline. Start by placing the foam sleeves onto the enclosure poles. We have found wetting the inside of the foam allows the foam to slide easily onto the enclosure poles. Once all the foam is placed onto the enclosure poles, begin attaching the curved enclosure pole to the straight enclosure pole using the self-tapping screws provided. Please note, your curved pole will have one hole on one end and two holes on the other. Ensure that the two holes will be placed up as they will be used later. Repeat this step five more times until all six poles are assembled. Place the enclosure poles near the T-sockets around the frame. Ensure that the curved portion of the enclosure pole is facing the jumping mat. Place the colored pole cap on top of the curved pole with the glued in nut facing the jumping mat. Okay. Place the strap located on top of the enclosure net over top of the pole cap, aligning the holes in the pole, net, and pole cap. Insert the M5 by 50 millimeter bolt with black plastic cap. Then align the holes and secure the nut into the pole cap. Repeat this step five times for the remaining enclosure poles. Do not tie the straps at this time. Lift the enclosure poles and place into associated T-sockets. Repeat until all enclosure poles have been inserted. Once all enclosure poles have been inserted, place all black plastic end caps into the bottoms of the T-sockets. Now using a ladder, tie the straps at the top of the pole caps. Your trampoline assembly is now complete. Thank you for watching this Skywalker trampoline assembly video. For more information, please visit our website www.skywalkertrampolines.com or visit us on Facebook and Pinterest.